Thank you. And now something you typically don't get to see. We have new video tonight that actually takes us inside the building, inside Fox Elementary, the night of that massive three alarm fire. In this clip, you can see smoke filling the front foyers as the fire spreads rapidly. Sparks then begin to fall from the ceiling. Now they're hitting the floor there. You can see the sparks splashing out. This clip is among hours of security camera footage released by RPS just today. On your side at six, Riley Wyatt is live outside Fox Elementary with more on that incredible video and some new details on where the investigation is going. So fill us in, Riley. Well, Kurt, the Richmond School Board is meeting right now to discuss Fox Elementary and how to proceed for the rest of the school year. As for the investigation into this fire, we may not know for up to two weeks about a cause. Well, obviously, everybody is still pretty shaken up. An explosion of embers rained down on Fox Elementary in new video just released by Richmond Public Schools. The fire department also confirming the 110 year old building had not been retrofitted for sprinklers due to its age. Concerns now coming to the surface questioning the safety of other old school buildings in the city. There are a number, I, mean, I think in the thousands, of schools across this state that are over the age of 50 years old. Uh, Fox is built in 1911, I believe, and we have a few other schools who are just as old as well. We're assessing that all across our school division. I asked both Richmond Fire and RPS about when the most recent building inspection took place at Fox, but have not gotten an answer back. Superintendent Jason Camrus says the tragedy at Fox only emphasizes the need to fund renovations and school construction. This is something that uh, is just desperately needed, and whether it comes to a question of, of safety or uh, just basic learning environment. Um, I'm hopeful, prayerful that if there's any silver lining from this, it's that it creates more momentum at the state level for those kinds of investments. Mayor LeVar Stoney also underlining the need for collaboration and funding to be able to fix up older schools. We want to update these facilities, but that's going to take funds and the funds won't fall out of the sky. We're talking big money here. We were talking millions and millions in the hundreds of millions of dollars. A key detail released in the fire timeline, the alarm panels never contacted the Richmond Alarm Company. That's because Verizon now requires local calls to include the 804 area code. The alarm panels were not updated to use the area code, so the initial call never went through. Instead, it was a passerby who heard the alarm and called 911. Now, we have gotten no answers as to whether those alarm systems have been updated and corrected at other schools. But as for rebuilding Fox Elementary, Camera says he wants it to happen right here at the site of the old school. Live and on your side in Richmond tonight, Riley Wyant, NBC 12 News. Okay.